for joining us on the property show all that's happening in real estate across the country best buys and property and experts on property matters all that in the next 60 minutes let's tell you what's coming up on the show today a mega tourism project on the aravallis in faridabad and residential pro- projects bordering the aravallis in gurgaon is this ecologically sensitive mountain range becoming the next stop for real estate hot properties in a crore of rupees in south mumbai and gurgaon large infra projects create an investment hype are the real estate projects around mumbai trans harbor link worth your money and what is your tax liability if you sell a commercial property a top story this evening the insatiable appetite for prime property in an expanding national capital region has pushed developers to build projects right up to the aravalli hills in haryana A mega tourism zone proposed on the Aravallis in Faridabad is being read as a potential trigger for a real estate rush on these ecologically critical hills. After years of being ravished by mining, is real estate now the new threat for the Aravalli in Haryana? Vasudha Sharma filed this report from the Aravallis. A room with a view. The latest rage in the NCR property market today is to own a home in the foothills of the Aravalli. Aravalli facing projects in Gurgaon and Faridabad have been a sellout, and a slew of new launches in recent months are being lapped up by buyers for the USP of their proximity to nature. Real estate developers are betting big on this last patch of natural green in NCR. When you go close to the green areas now you get a better premium. This is true that when you are close to nature people have started giving preference. Buyers start giving preference to the projects which are very close to nature. So now that developers have arrived right at the doorstep of the Aravallis, are these mountain ranges their next stop? Already ravaged by mining, the Aravallis in NCR could now be subjected to massive real estate activity. A mega tourism zone as proposed in the draft development plan of Mangar threatens the sensitive ecology of these mountains along with the drinking water security of NCR. A sacred grove on the Aravallis in Faridabad, Mangar has long been eyed by land sharks due to its proximity to Delhi and its strategic location on the Gurga Faridabad road. Local activists claim property prices here have tripled and land has been bought over by powerful entities in anticipation that the draft development plan for Mangar will allow them to build. The state level committee deliberating on this plan earlier this year attempted to protect these centuries old forests by excluding farmhouses, hotels and industries. But 5 months later, the committee proposed a mega tourism zone over 500 hectares of land and a university over 40 hectares. Sources in Haryana's town planning department confirm that this proposed tourism zone will involve housing projects. Urban planners reckon that allowing any kind of construction activity on the Aravallis will set a wrong precedent. Large projects of institutional nature are likely to be the trigger of more development here. And then one thing leads to another, it's a chain reaction. And this is a recipe for a violation of a large order. The Aravallis have been declared a deemed forest area by the Supreme Court and shown as a natural conservation area in the NCR Regional Plan 2021. Yet there seems to be no political will to bring the Mangar forests in Faridabad under the Punjab Land Preservation Act, which restricts non-forest use of forest land. This glaring loophole works well for developers but makes investment uncertain for buyers. they are putting the the onus on the developers so the entire risk is with the developer and their investors the master plan is basically pretending that they are not allowing anything and project developers should take the forest clearance colonizing the aravallis in ncr also has serious future implications for the residents of gurgaon and faridabad these mountain ranges are a critical groundwater recharge zone for 100% of faridabad and 70% of gurgaon Its rocky peaks also act as a buffer zone, blocking the desert winds from entering the plains. The ecological spillover will impact both these suburbs. For the locals of Mangar, perhaps their only defense is their faith in their spiritual saint, whose wrath is famously known to befall anyone who disturbs their sacred grove. Vasudha Sharma, NDTV. 
Department of Land Records revealed that property sales in this region have tripled from 42 deals between September-November 2011 to 164 between November 2011 to March 2012. Now, this coincides with the period when the Munger Draft Development Plan 2031 was being cleared at various stages. So, what's really the implications of all of this on the Ravlis? Chetan Agarwal, Environment Analyst, Dr. P.S.N. Rao, Founder Chairman, NAR India and... Of course, with me here is Samir Jasuja, CEO and founder of Prop Equity. Gentlemen, let's delve a little bit deeper into this issue because, you know, protection of the Aravalis is just a motive in just what's happening across the country. I'm going to start with you, Chetan. I mean, I thought this entire city, I mean, Delhi, around Delhi, people are very aware of the Aravali issue. And they, they, the awareness is so much that you know people wouldn't want it to get deforested, wouldn't want exploitation of it. Yet when you hear of these kind of projects where they're going to allow a mega tourism project, don't you think it's a backhand way for real estate development? Absolutely, and it's bad for Delhi, Gurga and Faridala, and it's bad for the people who will be lured into buying land or property here because the Aravli is still a very uncertain regulatory zone in Haryana. Delhi Aravli issues up significantly settled. Delhi has a lot of reserve forest. Uh, Aravli is a reserve forest. We have sanctuaries in the Aravli. But Haryana really has, you know, it they've left it as community panchayat lands or taken it over under the municipal corporations and they've privatized some of the panchayat lands in the last 30 years. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.